Hello and welcome to our video on the topic of U.S. fears of a war-weary world embracing China's Ukraine peace bid. Recently, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Moscow where he held discussions with Russian President Vladimir Putin about a Ukraine peace proposal. This meeting has put the Biden administration in an uncomfortable position as they are now on the sidelines as two adversaries discuss a proposal that the U.S. has deemed unacceptable. In this video, we will explore the various aspects of this meeting and its potential consequences for U.S. foreign policy and relations with China and Russia. So, let's dive in. U.S. officials have expressed deep skepticism about the Chinese proposal for a Ukraine peace plan, citing concerns that it would reward Moscow's invasion by cementing its territorial gains. Despite this, the meetings between Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin have provoked a sense of unease within the administration, leading to questions about the broader U.S. approach to the two countries. One unnamed administration official has reportedly stated that the U.S. is worried about being backed into a corner over the Chinese proposal. Dismissing it outright could allow China to argue to other nations that are weary of the war that the U.S. isn't interested in peace. The U.S. has responded to the Chinese proposal by publicly expressing its skepticism, stating that it does not align with its goals in the region. In private, officials have also expressed discomfort with the proposal, concerned that dismissing it outright could have negative consequences for U.S. relations with China and Russia. Bonnie Lin, a fellow at the Center for Strategic and International Studies who once served at the Pentagon, has warned that if the U.S. spurns the agreement, China will likely ramp up messaging that the U.S. is opposed to a ceasefire and the end of the war. This could potentially damage the U.S.'s reputation among other nations that are looking for peace in the region. The debate over China's version of a peace plan highlights just one of the many uncomfortable realities that were brought home by Xi's three-day visit this week to Moscow, which saw the Chinese leader greeted warmly by Putin. The two countries pledged to deepen their partnership even further, further complicating U.S. foreign policy in the region. The meetings between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Chinese proposal for a Ukraine peace plan have caused a sense of unease within the U.S. administration. This has led to questions about the broader U.S. approach to China and Russia. One administration official, speaking anonymously, has expressed concern about being backed into a corner over the Chinese proposal. The U.S. is worried that if they dismiss the proposal outright, China may use this as an opportunity to argue to other war-weary nations that the U.S. isn't interested in peace. This could damage the U.S.'s reputation among nations looking for peace in the region. The U.S. has publicly expressed deep skepticism about the Chinese proposal, stating that it does not align with their goals in the region. However, the proposal has also caused unease within the administration, with officials concerned that dismissing it outright could have negative consequences for U.S. relations with China and Russia. The U.S. is facing a difficult diplomatic balancing act as China and Russia grow closer in their partnership. The U.S. has tried to keep China on the sidelines since the start of the Ukraine invasion, but the opposite appears to have happened. China is finding a receptive audience for its broader diplomatic push around the globe. Major global economies are refusing to choose between China and the West, arguing they don't want a new Cold War. The U.S. is now grappling with how to respond to this changing global dynamic and how to approach its relationship with China and Russia. If the U.S. were to spurn the agreement proposed by China, it could have significant consequences for how the U.S. is perceived in the international community. According to an administration official, the U.S. is worried about being backed into a corner over the Chinese proposal. Regardless of the U.S. reservations, dismissing it outright could let China argue to other nations that are weary of the war and of the economic damage it's wreaking that Washington isn't interested in peace. This would give. 
e-China an advantage in terms of international diplomacy. Bonnie Lin, a fellow at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, has suggested that if the U.S. spurns the agreement, China will likely ramp up messaging that the U.S. is opposed to a ceasefire and the end of the war. They will try to spin whatever comes from the China-Russia meeting in a way that seeks to portray the U.S. in a negative light. This could damage U.S. standing in the international community and give China more influence over countries that are tired of the war and looking for a peaceful resolution. Therefore, the U.S. must carefully consider its response to the Chinese proposal and the implications of rejecting it outright. While the U.S. may have reservations about the proposal, dismissing it without careful consideration could have far-reaching consequences for U.S. foreign policy and influence. Xi Jinping's recent visit to Moscow has brought home several uncomfortable realities for the Biden administration. One such reality is that the administration has tried to keep China on the sidelines since the start of the Ukraine invasion, but the opposite appears to have happened. Even as Xi and Putin grow closer, China is finding a receptive audience for its broader diplomatic push around the globe. China has shrugged off U.S. sanctions over its company's partnership with Russia, bought oil from Iran's regime in defiance of Western demands, and helped orchestrate a diplomatic detente between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Major global economies are refusing to choose between China and the West, arguing they don't want a new Cold War. And just a week ago, Honduras began the process of giving up its diplomatic ties with Taiwan in favor of economic links with China. The Biden administration is undoubtedly uneasy about China's growing influence, but it remains to be seen what steps it will take to counter it. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken acknowledged at a recent Senate hearing, both China and Russia have very different worldviews than the U.S. They may find common cause in opposing the worldview that the U.S. and so many other countries around the world seek to defend and advance. One of the major global economic and diplomatic trends highlighted by Xi's visit to Moscow is the reluctance of major global economies to choose between China and the West. Many countries are refusing to take sides, arguing that they do not want a new Cold War. This trend is exemplified by countries like Honduras, which recently began the process of giving up its diplomatic ties with Taiwan in favor of economic links with China. Such moves are likely to be viewed with concern by the United States, which has long sought to maintain close ties with Taiwan as part of its broader strategy to contain China's influence in the region. The reluctance of countries to take sides is not limited to economic ties. China has also been successful in orchestrating diplomatic détente between countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran, which have traditionally been bitter rivals in the Middle East. This highlights China's growing diplomatic influence around the globe. The Biden administration has acknowledged the challenges posed by China's growing influence, with Secretary of State Antony Blinken warning that China and Russia have very different worldviews than the United States. Despite these challenges, the United States remains committed to defending and advancing the worldview shared by many other countries around the world. To sum up, Xi Jinping's recent visit to Moscow and his discussions with Vladimir Putin about a Ukraine peace proposal have sparked concerns within the U.S. administration. U.S. officials have publicly expressed deep skepticism about the Chinese idea, believing it would reward Moscow's invasion. The Chinese proposal has provoked a sense of unease within the U.S. administration, leading to questions about the broader U.S. approach to China and Russia. The consequences of spurning the agreement could allow China to argue to other nations that the U.S. isn't interested in peace, and China will try to spin whatever comes from the China-Russia meeting in a way that seeks to portray the U.S. in a negative light. Moreover, Xi's visit to Moscow highlights uncomfortable realities, such as the fact that the Biden administration has tried to keep China on the sidelines since the start of the Ukraine invasion. 
However, China is finding a receptive audience for its broader diplomatic push around the globe, and major global economies are refusing to choose between China and the West, arguing they don't want a new Cold War. As the world becomes more complex and interconnected, U.S. foreign policy will have to navigate this increasingly challenging landscape. It will be interesting to see how the U.S. will navigate its relationship with China and Russia in the coming years. Let's hope for peaceful and constructive solutions that benefit everyone involved. Thanks for watching.